Starting off on the wrong foot. Wait to hear more. One very important communication aspect to always keep in mind, whether you're representing the buyer or the seller, is to always start off your communication in a positive tone. You never want to start off this initial conversation with the other agent on the wrong foot. In a few moments, I'll share with you a few key examples and tips. A complete list will be provided for you in the description box below. Here's a real life example of starting off on the wrong foot. As a listing agent, I received a call from a buyer's agent who had an offer to present and wanted to do it in person at my office with the sellers. I suggested that this is not possible or feasible as my clients lived out of state. She then insisted that she talk to them on the phone to present her offer. I mentioned I was not comfortable with this as my clients may not say the right thing and they hired me to effectively represent them and she's welcome to present the offer to me and I'll immediately present it to the sellers. We did finally get acceptance, but from the get-go, through this intense and friction in communicating with her, we had inspection issues that we couldn't resolve. I find it hard to believe that maybe we could have had this resolved if we would have first started off on the right foot and not on the wrong foot. Thank you so much for watching my video. For more free real estate tips, simply follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and my Facebook accounts. Once again, this is Ken Mucha, buyer specialist with Team Bertola High Desert Realty, coming to you from beautiful Bend, Oregon. Thanks and have yourself an awesome day.